Hello everyone, Elite Cameraman here. Did you guys know that we actually saw the green cameraman that teleported Plunger Cameraman to the secret agent's secret room in episodes 67 to 70? And looking back, this was all obvious from the start, and the secret agent was paving the road for the bunker squad all along. Also, we'll have to talk about the death of the Plunger Cameraman because many people think that his death was caused by the scientist toilet and not the secret agent. With this we might get into if the secret agent is actually evil or not, and why he was talking to the scientist toilet because after I posted my analysis yesterday I realized that I missed something. Also what I'm going to explain might explain why we thought the secret agent was observing the plunger cameraman from episodes 45 to 63, because if you guys are new to here, we guessed that the secret agent was watching the plunger cameraman because almost every time plunger cameraman was present, the secret agent was also present. An example of this is episode 45, the first time the secret agent appeared, which was next to Plunger Cameraman or episode 55 where we thought the secret agent was watching the Plunger Cameraman from the balcony. With all this context, I think we can now start talking about how this ties into episode 70 part 3. But before we do that, make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you don't want to miss anything. Anyways, here we go. Weirdly enough, I said, in episode where we thought the secret agent was watching the plunger cameraman from the balcony, the reason I said we thought is because there is a very likely chance that it had a different reason. If you watch episode 55 carefully, we can actually see one of the green cameraman. At least I think we can. Maybe this is a coincidence, but after what I'm going to show you next, it has a pretty likely chance of being real. After this, we have episode 56 which weirdly enough has the secret agent and one of the green cameraman once again. The secret agent was actually in the car watching everyone in this episode, and we can literally see the green cameraman with the same tie pattern as the green cameraman we saw in episode 70 part 3. Maybe this was when the secret agent recruited both of them because we don't see them again until they are inside the bunker. This next thing I'm about to tell you made me more sure about this theory because if you guys didn't know, in episode 65, we actually were in the POV of the lucky cameraman who we know works with the secret agent now, but back then I don't think he was on his side because at the end of the episode, after the Titans got surprise attacked by acid nukes, we actually saw the secret agent watching the lucky cameraman from inside the car, just like what he did to the last green cameraman I showed you. I think with all these three clips we can surely say that these were not coincidences, and Boom actually has been giving us hints for months now. Now that we know where they came from, we can move on to the last couple episodes and where they appeared and how we could have figured out what was going to happen. We already know that the lucky cameraman was in the bunker before anyone got there in episode 67 part 4, and now it makes sense why we couldn't see him get in because we learned that they can turn invisible. He probably turned visible after seeing people get in, but what I didn't realize while analyzing episode 70 part 3 was the fact that the two green cameramen also went into the bunker with the squad, but looking back, they were awfully weird. These bloods acted incredibly weird, and knowing that they used to be normal in episodes 55 and 56, I think we can assume that either their memories have been wiped, or they have been completely brainwashed by the secret agent. Alongside this, they probably got some new abilities because we actually saw them use a green light from their flash to teleport plunger cameraman consciousness next to the secret agent. It really looked like this was their first time going on a mission from the way they acted after seeing the injured large speaker man die. And they actually were the ones that gave the plunger cameraman his plunger. I think this ties into one of the things the secret agent said in episode 70 part 3. If you guys have watched my episode 70 part 3 analysis, you'd know that the secret agent actually said, my little pawn will kill you. And I think he was talking about the plunger cameraman here because everything was set up in a way for plunger cameraman to reach the scientist toilet. But why were they in the bunker in the first place? Couldn't they have just given the plunger before they entered? This actually has a reason. In episode 70 part 3, we heard the secret agent saying, there is no evidence left except one, while point at the plunger cameraman, which means he 100% was the one that killed plunger cameraman, and it was to get rid of all the evidence because he was the only person left that saw the secret agent talking to the scientist toilet, and the secret agent posted on the wall in episode 70 part 2. But the secret agent knew that if a whole squad goes inside the bunker and learn a bunch of stuff they shouldn't have, 
he would need to get rid off the evidence. Thus, why the green cameraman entered the base. He may have given this mission to the lucky cameraman at first, but maybe he didn't trust him enough yet because it looked like he still remembered everything and there was a likely chance that he wasn't going to kill his friends. So he ordered the green cameraman to observe him and take over the mission if needed. And this will all make sense after I show you the timeline of events from the green cameraman's perspective. First, in episode 68, we see one of the green cameraman flushing a toilet and going right next to the door lock as if he knows what it is, and he just stands there until the lucky cameraman comes and unlocks the door with his remote hacking tool. But that wasn't the weird thing, because after he does this, the green cameraman actually shows his hand to try and shake lucky cameraman's hand until he realizes he messed up and changes to a thumbs up. Where else did we see this hand gesture? In the last episode, when both of the green cameramen saw each other after completing the mission, this gesture is probably just like the thumbs up emote the normal cameraman have, and the fact that the green cameraman tried to shake lucky cameraman's hand was to foreshadow the fact that they are on the same side, but the weirdness doesn't end there because later in the episode when they went to the factory side, we saw plunger cameraman's camera getting transmission and recording errors. We thought this was the doing of the secret agent because of the green glow we saw in the factory. But maybe it wasn't even him, because right when he turns back after the error comes up, we can actually see the green cameraman doing something with his hands for a split second. After watching episode 70 part 3 where we saw the green cameraman make plunger cameraman invisible, I think it's very possible that the green cameraman have these abilities. After this we start seeing even weirder interactions from the green cameraman because 50 seconds into the episode we literally see them staring into plunger cameraman's soul things get even weirder half a minute later because after the alarms start, we can actually see them acting awfully sus for a second when Plunger Cameraman is looking at the hallway. Instead of looking at the hallway, the two green cameramen look at each other as if they are planning something and I think this is where they pretend to die and go invisible. Because while the whole squad is running at some point, they stop as if they are trying to protect the squad. And when the squad gets on the other side of the door, we saw the two green cameramen running for their lives trying to escape the Michael Jackson toilet. At least that's what we thought, because after Michael Jackson toilet supposedly hits them, did you see any bodies? Shouldn't their pieces have been flung around? But there was simply... nothing. Why could that be? The only answer is that they turned invisible in the last second and escaped, or they just teleported because we know that the secret agent can turn invisible, teleport, and hack cameras. So if the green cameraman can already do two of these, why can't they teleport as well? The only question I got here is the arm of one of the green cameraman and how he got it back. But I guess with the powers of the secret agent and what he provides, it's possible that he got a new one instantly. Also, this shows us that plunger cameraman being mad at the dark speaker man was literally for nothing and their feud in the last couple episodes have been over a lie that the secret agent set up. Even if the secret agent is actually good overall, the pain he caused this legendary duo is unmeasurable at this point. After this, the next time we see the green cameraman is actually at the end of episode 70 part 1, after the lights went out inside the bunker and we saw the ghost cameraman. Everyone was so confused, but I guess it was the green cameraman who were continuing their mission in secret, and this was confirmed with Episode 70 Part 3. In Episode 70 Part 2, not much happened about the green cameraman other than lucky cameraman faking that he is dead. But now we need to talk about the real deal since you guys know the whole timeline of the event before Episode 70 Part 3. Let's start with what the secret agent said to the scientist toilet because it's important. In my episode analysis, I mentioned that the secret agent said, I guess I can't be trusted to the scientist toilet. But I didn't understand why he would say this back then, but it clicked right after I was finished with my analysis. I think the secret agent was never really helping the scientist toilet because at the end of the episode when he was talking to plunger cameraman, he actually seemed like he was trying to get rid off the toilets and knew that the astro toilets would be the next threat. It's very possible that the secret agent started talking to the scientist toilet for a while to trick him and maybe even promised many stuff, but his plan all along was to kill the scientist toilet and the best way to do that was to distract him while he was using his pawns from the Alliance side. Blood really has 900 IQ, but I don't think this necessarily means that he is on the Alliance's side. I think after this episode we can say that there are four sides. The Alliance, the secret agent, 
the Astro Toilets, and probably the remaining toilets that'll most likely go under G-Man Toilet from now on. And I don't think the secret agents wants to stay in secret as his name suggests. He didn't want anyone knowing he had ties with the toilets, so he had to remove all the evidence, meaning everyone who wasn't on his side in the bunker raid had to die, and the second plunger cameraman and dark speaker man entered the bunker. Their fates were sealed. I think with the end of this arc, even crazier episodes are awaiting us. If you have any other theories, make sure to write them down. Also like this video and subscribe if you enjoyed the video.